Hello and welcome to a Let's Play in, Crus in Victoria 2, the USA. As always, this is Dentius. So we are plotting our planning and scheming process to attack the Mexicans, or the Empire of Mexico. Haiti was at it, that's right. And I'll just outright do that. Build forts across it. Uh, leave it be. Uh, debate, the, debate the opportunity at every moment, apparently. That's what I was going to say. Mexican menace. They're coming right for us. What are we going to do about them? Well, we should build a really long wall, because that's historically always worked. I mean, it worked with the Chinese. They built a great wall to keep the Mongols out, and the Mongolian Empire just eventually conquered them. But, um... <coughs> Hadrian's Wall. Yeah, that was built by the Romans to keep the barbarians out. That was eventually overrun. But look, political party. Free Soil Party is now defunct. Republican Party. The Republicans? What? Politics. Who are the Republicans? Reactionary. Conservative. Hmm. Next elections, I suspect they'll appear. Ah, US, United Kingdom's got the Valley of the Kings. Good for it. Just a bunch of prestige. Hmm. When can I attack? I'm at 60%, 131 days, and it's sometime next year that I can attack you, right? That's, that's me. We run out 6th of April, and I can attack you. Iron and blood. Degreely and deeply. Oh, okay. To the southern labour. Uh, culture, I think. Commerce. Morale. But more men were created equal. Mm-hmm. Mission to the Empire. Oh, they found out about it. Or suspectedly found out about it. I found... Uh, I think I might be getting a little burned out on Victoria. Not on, Crus uh, on Crusader Kings 2. Because sometimes I'm, I'm recording episodes. I enjoy recording it, but... Gain some more consciousness. I enjoy uh, recording it, but... um, There we go. Hey, declare war time to acquire the state of... No, let's see, what did I agree to? It was this one, wasn't it? Che hoo ha ha Wow, I am so certain I offended somebody with my pronunciation just then. Not from that part of the world, in case you hadn't noticed. Proceed. This must be stamped out. Uh... Uh, leave him be. So I suppress everybody's stuff. Leave him be. Debate with every opportunity. Every opportunity. We can supposed to be stamped out. So how many pop-ups? Charge. He stays in Oklahoma. Debate with every opportunity. You will arrive somewhere inconvenient on the 20th of July. I will get there on your territory on the 18th. We win! Hmm. Uh, suppress the society. Aha! Destroy their army. Wipe them out. All of them. Go after them. Wickedness must be stamped out. And try not to raise my army this time. My, uh... Not my army, my, um, irregulars. Uh, nay. Charge. Charge. Win. By order. Ah. Who? Okay. You're in my sphere, are I? Um... Might as well make you in my sphere. Increase opinion. It's 
Spend every opportunity. Every opportunity. Wish the pop-ups would get stamped out. Charge. Nay. Pursue. Catch. Shoot at. Excessively. Win. Wickedness must be stamped out. Dred Scott versus Sandford. Oh dear. Dred Scott, having been a slave, remains a slave. Dred Scott, born a slave in Virginia, has, with the help of abolitionist legal advisers, sued his owner, claiming that his present residency in a free state requires his emancipation. The United States Supreme Court has ruled that, it, that this is, in fact, not the case, and effectively that the property rights of slave owners are protected regardless of where in the Union the slaves resides. The case has caused enormous alarm amongst northern abolitionists who see it as the first step to a full extension of the institution of slavery to the whole Union. Worrying you news. I'd be worried. Founded by W. L. Garrison in 1831, The Liberator was one of the most famous abolitionist newspapers in the United States before the Civil War. Although the circulation only ever peaked at a few thousand copies per issue, the paper still received wide notoriety on account of its unwavering advocacy of the abolitionist cause. The Liberator has just published another issue, and the slavery debate has further intensified, indeed. Uh, what? Uh, oh, the Republican Party. Liberals. Uh... 46. Wickedness must be stamped out. Debate at every opportunity. I mean, I debate at every opportunity. Um, send some to our neighbours. I could gain some more prestige, or I could gain some. Yeah, I'll do that. Prestige is very good. USA. That's sphere. Means I won't be fighting you, but you're in my sphere, which means I get some of your resources anyway. Mm -hmm. Diplomacy. I can't add a war goal. Why not? Uh, we don't have enough enthusiasm, apparently. That's okay. Gaining one chunk at a time is fine by me. Gives me time to digest it. Um, num, 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 num. So the knights. No, the other one. Southern Labour. Uh, suppress the society. I think we might be heading towards the Civil War. Safe market. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are made equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, the Declaration of Independence, 1776. The dank locale is dimly lit, and reeks of sweat and unwashed bodies, cramped walls, littering with chains and ropes, tell tales of the trade that goes on in this auction house. One by one, blacks are shoved into a small stage to stand, their hands tied, while the auctioneer calls out the bids. Here, human beings are herded like cattle to be sold into involuntary servitude, serfdom, and slavery. Repulsive. What? I'm attacked. Who attacked me? Why am I attacked? Uh, oh, we came the US, U, UK supporting Mexico, is it? Well, that's inconvenient, I didn't realise, and I should have paid attention substantially a while ago to that happening. Uh, shut it down. Military. Mobilise time. Shut it down. No, oh, leave it, leave it, Pete, what am I doing? Gather the army, I've got to take on the British. But first, stop, kill them. Uh, leave it be. Do 
opportunity. Leave him be. Maybe this must be stamped out. Stop dying, you cowards. Mm -hmm. Secret ballots. There we go. Okay, I think the army is... What is causing such a... Oh, that's what's causing it. I've forgotten about it. Um, administration can be halved. Military spending can be dropped. Tariffs can be raised. Not 100% per neck. To not to 45 either. Wow, someone's cutting their lawns. Typical. That's why you don't record in the day on Sundays. Uh, we suppress society. Okay, army merging time. Take on the British. This army. Four units. Gather there in preparation to strike. Lost a battle somewhere, did I? Oh. San Francisco, you're attacking over here. Wow. I'm so completely not paying attention. <laughs> uh, I'll even be. totally not pay attention to this at all. How goes the war? In my favour? Against it? What? Uh, mostly in my... Gotta get it all the way over there. It shouldn't be too hard once I obliterate the British armies. Dang British! Really, this must be stamped out. Way, heading over that way, or I think I've got to go to deal with that army. <laughs> Looking this will be stamped out. Ah, one. Another British army. Seriously. Go away, stop doing this stuff to me. It's mean, unpleasant, and scary. I have to pick every opportunity. Seriously, man, I'm close to civil war in here. Lose this war? Am I? Am I? Am I? At least it's only status quo. Stays in Oklahoma. Diplomacy. Hey, Britain. Propose peace. Offer peace terms. Status quo. They would accept it. Proceed. I lost the war. Military. Demobilize. Go home. I just didn't have the soldiers. An alliance from you guys? Okay. Right, first past the post, the Jefferson method. What is the Jefferson method? Highest averages method for allocating seats. Or proportional representation. Now, I know the states doesn't have proportional representation, and I'm pretty sure they don't have first past the post. That's what UK has. Um... Jefferson is probably named after Thomas Jefferson. So it's very probably that. The Jefferson method. Voter ideologies does put what in power? 
46, 44, 10%. You know what? Proportional representation, I'm going to go with it. And let's look at industry. Cheap iron, there we go, this one. I need to do some stuff. Right, okay, I've done all the forming I want. Hurry up and give me uh, wars or something in my favour. Underground Railroad, leave it be. Nice of the Golden Circle, leave it be. I don't care. I want. Give me Confederate War or something. Leave it be. Stupid Empire of Mexico, leave them be. Are they really? Leave them be. Stop. Allies with them. Are they? They're not allied. The British just decided to get involved, bastards. Another election. It's probably going to swing the other way. Resolute. The HMS Resolute was found adrift in the North Atlantic after having been abandoned by the squadron in search of the lost polar explorer Sir John Franklin. The United Kingdom, the United States brought the ship from salvages, refitted the vessel, and returned it to Great Britain. It's right and proper to return it. Yes, as I recall, um, the I think is it the Resolute desk? Isn't that what the uh, the, the um? Well, the President of the United States sits behind, I believe, is the Resolute Desk, which is made from timbers from the HMS Resolute, which was found by the Americans and returned to the British. And when it was broken down for parts, uh, a desk was made and given to the, United, to the President of the United States as a thank you for returning it. And the president sits behind it to this day. I believe that's what it is. Anyway, it's right and proper to return it. Hey, our opinion is going to change by 100. We're currently at negative 22. That's going to be good. Suddenly the war ends and suddenly we're super positively friendly with each other. Hi! What's all oh, the things are still going? Um, I want laissez-faire, apparently, if I want to encourage you lot. Yeah, because now, look, the Democratic Party. Oh, right, the Whigs, never mind. Decisive laissez-faire. I mean, that's something you wouldn't really think about, it, is it? That uh, technically, in some respects, the Republican Party is the more liberal party in the actual technical term than the Democratic Party. But um, anyway, uh, you won't call for an alliance with me. Too many great power allies. Uh, military access request, they will not accept. Give military access, they will not accept. Well, we've got friendship going. Increase relations. No, not decrease. In not, de not that. Increase. I don't want more of the Brits again. Anyway. Thank you for watching. My name's Vincentius. Ciao for now.